Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, 20 hectares of land will have no harvest in Urfa, Western Armenia. Today is the Remembrance Day of the Genocide against Pontus Greeks. Residents of Artsakh, Garmi, Shuka, don't let Azerbaijanis pass with their cars. Two explosions took place at Tigrana Gert Air Base. Russia ready to act as mediator for solving Armenia-Azerbaijan border situation. A new residential district to be built in Martoni of Artsakh. Interview with Lala Maneyan. The interactive map of Armenia's scriptoria centers. 20 hectares of dry land won't have agriculture harvest in Urfa province, western Armenia, where the season begins with a drought. According to the head of the House of Agricultural Engineers, the agricultural season in Urfa in 2021 has started with a drought. This year, 20,000 hectares of land will be plowed without the hope of getting a harvest, while the area was considered a storehouse for the country's groceries and cereals. The experts mentioned that this year the shortage of agricultural products the producers have borrowed will cause an economic disaster. The House of Agricultural Engineers of Urfa called for the declaration of 20,000 hectares of land as a disaster zone, stressing that the state should distribute free seeds and fertilizers by 2022. The history of the Republic of Turkey is filled with massacres and genocides since the day of its founding. Almost all the nations, especially Armenians, Assyrians, Yazidis and Kurds have become the victims of the genocidal policy of the Republic of Turkey. The genocidal phase of the Republic of Turkey, which committed genocide against millions of Armenians in 1915, is obvious and still shows itself with that face. The genocide committed against the Pontus Greeks in 1919 is one of the genocide experiences in the bloody history of Turkish national state. Although Turkish official sources note that 11,181 people were killed at the massacre, the witnesses claim that there were 353,000 victims. Some historical documents speak about 450,000 to 750,000. The full article is available on our website. Azerbaijan has advanced in different directions in Artsakh. This is what a deputy of the Justice Faction of the National Assembly of Artsakh, Metakse Hakopyan, told News.am. The situation in Artsakh has been troubling ever since the incidents took place in Sunik province. But the Azerbaijanis are unable to move forward a lot since they have to travel meters. Based on the information that I received yesterday, they had moved in the direction of Charektar and tried to position themselves. But the residents of Charektar and Haterk made them return to their starting positions, she stated. Touching upon the fact that Azerbaijani cars have passed through the territory of Garmi Shuka and the residents' concern, the deputy said the following. The Azerbaijanis pass through the territory of Garmi Shuka every day. After November 10, 2020, this is the only road through which they pass to reach Shushi. Since there is a long series of trucks and it takes hours for them to pass, today the residents tried to not let them pass. They were very persistent and have decided to not let them pass until the issue is solved. They ask why Azerbaijanis can pass through their territories, but they can't pass through Karvajar to visit Armenia. Two explosions with a 20-minute break took place on the night of May 19 in the 8th DR Bekir military airbase belonging to Turkish Air Force. The Minister of Internal Affairs Solu posted on Twitter. Turkish media reports that the explosions took place not at the military base but at the territory close to it. It is noted that the attempts of attack were committed with small drones. Russia has proposed to assist the launch of the delamination and demarcation process of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said during a press conference in Dushanbe, Tajikistan, on May 19. He informed that the informal meeting of the CSTO foreign ministers had started on May 18, during which the participants observed the request of the Armenian partners and discussed the relations between Yerevan and Baku based on that request. According to a preliminary agreement with the sides, the Russian Federation has proposed to assist the launch of the delamination and demarcation process, as well as to come up with an initiative of creating an Armenian-Azerbaijani commission for that purpose, where Russia can participate as a consultant as well as a mediator, Lavrov said. The construction of a new residential district has started in Martoni of Artsakh. Four new five-floor buildings with 116 apartments will be built, meeting modern standards. The apartments will have basements, playgrounds and parking lots will be built, the surrounding area will be landscaped. The People's Artist of the Republic of Armenia, Lala Maneya, spoke about the traditions and ceremonies of Easter, celebrated on the eve and the day after Easter. She referred to the idea of the feast, 
the songs, dances, ceremonies special to the day. Manian also presented the idea, the traditions and ceremonies of the feast for the people living in Western Armenia. The interactive map presenting the centers of Armenia scriptoria, already operating in the museum complex of Matenadaran, now is available online. You can get acquainted with the summary of scriptoria centers and the manuscript heritage in Armenia and abroad in the map section on the Matenadaran website. This project, equipped with trendy, modern solutions and technical equipment, was launched with the support of Madenadaran long-term partners, Galus Gülbenkian Foundation and Aurora Humanitarian Initiative. Now we present you Nubar Ensemble Hatzgatachem Gariya. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.